shoot, I almost forgot to put on deodorant. <laughs> Hi, hello, good afternoon, happy Friday, welcome back to another vlog. I am about to head to Walmart because I need a new foundation. I wanna get the Fit Me Matte and Poreless because I love this foundation. The finish of it is beautiful, coverage, everything, 10 out of 10. But this is my summer shade, so it is way too dark for me at the moment. So I wanna get that in a lighter shade and then I just need to restock on a couple like grocery items. So I figure Walmart's like the perfect one-stop shop for that. So if you saw one of my previous vlogs, I had got a free and clear what I thought was laundry detergent and then you sweet angels pointed out to me that it was actually fabric softener. Thank God I hadn't opened it yet. I was in a rush that day, so I didn't even really look that closely and yeah. So I wanted some scent-free laundry detergent, so I exchanged the fabric softener and I got this instead. And then I got this OxyClean White Revive detergent for my towels and bed sheets. And then I got a bunch of cleaning stuff. I got a new mop, bathroom cleaner, a bunch of different kinds of scrubbers and stuff, but I left all of that in the car because as of when I'm recording this, I have just under two weeks till I get the keys to my new apartment. And by the time you're watching this, it'll probably be like a week or less away. And my plan is the first day I wanna go and just deep clean the apartment. So I'm just leaving it in the car so I can just bring it straight over there. Then I got some vanilla bean frozen yogurt. Then I got some more Olipops, strawberry vanilla. It's like a probiotic, prebiotic, probiotic, prebiotic soda but it doesn't have like a bunch of crappy ingredients. Very low calorie, low sugars. Um, it's kind of like a kombucha. Then I got this Starbucks iced coffee because my friend Abby, I will link her TikTok in the description. She's been vlogging on there like every day and I am living for it. She shared a recipe that's like a dupe for the Starbucks sweet cream cold brews. So I got some stuff to attempt to make that. So we got our iced coffee. I got this white chocolate sauce. I got some heavy whipping cream to make the cold foam with. After I put all this stuff away, we'll try that out. Then I got some garlic cloves, some strawberries, Mike's Hot Honey. I've tried this before in a HelloFresh meal and it's so good. And I have been seeing everyone online using this on salmon and I love salmon, which I did buy some more. This is expensive though. It was like $9 just for this bottle. I also got some frozen broccoli. So I'm just gonna do a little salmon bowl with rice and broccoli. Then I got some more half and half just for like my regular coffee. Bananas, Dave's Killer, thin sliced bread, and some more eggs. Then I saw this sweater dress, so cute, right? Beautiful, just a nice, plain, basic. Um, It was on clearance for $8. It's the Time and True brand. They had it in a few different colors. I'll try to find a link online and I'll put it in the description if I can. If not, go check in store. Amazing. This is the foundation shade I got. It's 125 Nude Beige. Oh, let's see. I think that might be a really good match, actually. But I also got a bunch of packages. This stuff is from Shein. These are all of my pajama sets. I keep saying lately that I want to feel more put together. And this year, I just want to feel like that girl, you know? And I feel like having pajama sets I don't know like it'll just make me feel really good and it'll make me excited to have a nighttime routine and then the days that I am just staying home and I want to just hang out in my pajamas all day I'll still feel like cute and kind of put together rather than gross baggy sweats so how freaking cute is this set it's like the long flowy bottoms 
and they have this like light green floral print on them and then the little tank and i love even just the cut of it i feel like it's gonna be so flattering and it's nice and lightweight so it won't be too hot and this came in a couple different colors and patterns so beautiful and so affordable like i know people have beef with Shein and fast fashion and i get it but not everybody can afford to buy the more sustainable stuff that's a lot more expensive so you can judge me for shopping at Shein if you want that's totally fine but i have no judgment towards you if you shop there then i got these silky shorts with the lace on the bottom so cute and then this is the top that goes with it so it has the matching lace and it buttons up then I got another silky set, but this is just plain black, long sleeves, buttons up with a collar. And this I love because honestly, I could wear this as an outfit. And then the matching flowy long pants. Like this would be a vibe. Unbuttoned a little bit with some strappy heels, do a little like French tuck. And then I got this white set. And if you look up close, you can kind of see it has some stripes little button up so soft and silky and then it has the matching shorts oh my god and then this one i am dying so again the silky long sleeves but in this really beautiful like chartreuse color this also would be such a good matching set honestly i feel like if i wore this out nobody would know it was pajamas <laughs> I'm just gonna be feeling like a brand new person once I'm in the new apartment. I'm excited to do my nighttime routine and morning routines and like I just feel refreshed and feel like really put together. Like you know those people that you watch online and everything is just like so aesthetic and beautiful and I know that's not real life all the time obviously. I'm not trying to be fake or not myself but it just feels good when you feel put together. So I just want a little bit more of that in my life. Yay. So I have a podcast, if you didn't know, with my friend Julia. It's a girl chat podcast. And we just released new merch. Actually, today we announced it and made the website live. So this is one of the pieces. Girls Who Get It Wine Club. And I got it oversized with an extra large so it would fit kind of like a t-shirt dress because I love the look of a really big oversized t-shirt with some bike shorts underneath. Oh, it's so cute. I'll have a link in the description if you guys want to check out our merch. And if you don't already listen to the podcast, we have a YouTube channel so you can watch the video version or we're on Apple Podcasts and Spotify. I got some new jewelry pieces from Ana Luisa because I work with them pretty regularly. So I got a couple new pieces for our upcoming sponsorship next month. This ring, look how gorgeous. And I got it a size smaller than my usual ring size so I could put it on my pinky because like how stunning does that look? It's weird with no other rings on, but if I have like a full hand of rings, gorgeous. And I love the texture of it. So pretty. I don't have my smart ring on right now because it's charging. I also got these little earrings. How freaking cute are these? I kind of want to put those in now. Then I got this snake chain necklace. So beautiful but also really good for layering their jewelry is just so cute and they're constantly adding new stuff and i feel like every time i go and look on their site i'm like i need all of this so cute these other two huggies are also anna luisa these ones are called the amaya and the ring is the walker and the snake chain is called the aina okay then this is from amazon i am not even sure what it is in here oh okay so this is a little bathroom organizer to go like on top of the vanity in my new bathroom so i'm not even gonna open this then i got an electric candle lighter and this was like less than 10 bucks and it comes with a usb 
so you can recharge it you know it'll never run out of lighter fluid like a regular lighter does I was like, why don't I just get something like this rather than having to constantly repurchase regular lighters? Plus, I feel like this just looks nice, like sitting out on the coffee table. And then I got a box of baby hangers. I have been seeing that everywhere online. People have been talking about how you should use baby hangers to hang your bottoms in your closet because it just takes up less space and the pants just sit more seamlessly on the smaller hangers. And we have one final Amazon box. I got this cute little set. Kind of goes perfectly with all my cute pajamas. But it's a little headband to hold your hair back while you're washing your face. And these to put around your wrist so that way when you're washing your face, it'll absorb the water and you don't have water dripping down your arms because that is the most annoying cringy feeling i see some people just use like regular scrunchies too so i guess that would work and then this eye mask which has little divots for your eyes so it's not applying a bunch of direct pressure and like rubbing on your actual eyelids which is nice it feels good it's nice and cushiony i don't know if this is gonna drive me crazy to have something on my face at night but I figured I would try it because I need the room to be pitch black at night. If I see any kind of light in the room, I feel like I have a harder time falling asleep. So I'm going to try this and see if it works for me. And this set came in a bunch of different colors too. But I figured black would be good because then I don't have to worry about staining it with makeup or if my hair color is bleeding or something. Oh, I am so glad this came. This is perfect timing. I got a manual little frother, which I'm going to use for our Starbucks coffee to make the cold foam. Then this is for the new apartment as well, an organizer that you just mount to the wall and then you just stick your mop, your brooms, and it just keeps everything upright and organized. We have this exact one at the salon and it is amazing and as soon as she got it i was like yep i am gonna need that for my apartment because it keeps everything so organized and saves so much space too then i needed some more poop bags Ooh, my cups oh i'm kind of tempted to use one of these to make the iced coffee but i also want to just wait and save them for the new apartment because they're packaged so nicely right now this set of fluted glasses i know this is like another really trendy thing right now but they were pretty inexpensive and they also came with glass straws and i needed more glasses in general so i was like i may as well get pretty ones let's make this starbucks coffee that's pretty good the white chocolate coffee syrup okay I'm hoping it'll taste like the white chocolate mocha from Starbucks. So she just like puts a bunch in her cup. I don't want to put too, too much because I don't really like my coffee super sweet. And then ice. And then she adds her iced coffee. I also could have just brewed my own coffee and put it in the fridge but this is faster and easier okay then i probably should have opened this and washed it first this is so cute folks it comes with a little stand i'm gonna have a cute little coffee bar in the new place and i was like "Ooh, i love that it comes with the stand because then i can just have it sitting on the coffee bar kind of like on display Look how cute. Oh, and this probably needs batteries. Yep. Beautiful. So now we're gonna take our heavy whipping cream and pour it into this little guy. This is, um, I've had this forever. I'm, it's probably also from Amazon. Shit, I think I made it too thick. Cause like the cold foam at Starbucks is like just at that state right before it turns into whipped cream. But I mean, look at that. That looks pretty legit, right? I'm gonna give it a good stir. 
It doesn't taste exactly like Starbucks, but funny enough, it's because of the Starbucks iced coffee. Like that has a very distinct taste like the one you buy at the store and that's what's throwing it off but i think if i like brewed espresso and i used that instead i think it would taste more legit but it's really good either way but i am going to make myself something to eat because i haven't eaten yet today and i'm just going to straighten up a little bit in here i didn't have too much work that i needed to do today and i got everything done this morning so i just kind of have the rest of the day off to just chill i was gonna get my hair done by my co-worker that will probably be the next vlog so stay tuned for that to see what i end up doing to it but her sister gave birth this morning so i was like um please just go be with your family like i can wait we can do my hair another day so i was originally planning on that taking up most of my day so now i just have some free time which pff, isn't a bad thing i am not complaining so I will check in with you guys later if I end up doing anything exciting. If not, I will just see you in the morning. Thank God it's supposed to warm up though later this week. Good morning. It's Saturday. I'm getting ready to go work at the salon. The plan for the day is I have two clients. My first one, I've done her hair a couple times before. She was previously a color correction. She was coloring her hair with permanent color once every month to cover her gray roots. And we slowly transitioned her into being blonde with the full head of baby lights so that she could blend her gray instead of having to do permanent full coverage. So it's been a few months since we had got her to her final goal. So I'm curious to see what her hair looks like now, but she is down for a full highlight and haircut. And from what I remember, she has a lot of thick hair. And then my second client is new, and she's also looking to transition into gray blending baby lights. So even though I only have the two clients today, it's still going to be a pretty full day because they're both going to be pretty big appointments. And then as soon as I'm done with work, I need to change and get ready because then I am going to dinner with some of my coworkers. And then from there, we are going to our boss's 30th birthday party. She is going all out. It's going to be this whole big thing. Everybody is dressing up as country music stars. I am just going to pack a bag and bring everything with me so that way... I can just get ready at the salon as soon as I'm done with my last client. So my outfit, I'll put a photo as my outfit inspiration. I'm going as Marin Morris. So I have this matching set from Shein and I'm just gonna slick my hair back in a low pony so I didn't even have to worry about washing my hair. You can't see her shoes in the picture but you can see like the tips of her toes poking out so i'm just gonna wear these strappy nude heels they're the brand dolce vita but i want to say i got them at like tj maxx or something and then i already have my everyday makeup in here i just need to make sure that i throw in that new foundation and in the picture she's clearly not wearing anything underneath her blazer i don't know if i feel bold enough to do that i'm gonna bring nipple covers in case but then I'm also going to bring this bralette from Aerie. And I can wear that underneath otherwise if I don't quite feel comfortable going fully braless. Okay. I think I am good. Don't mind the mess. I <laughs> have all that laundry that I need to wash. But I was waiting to get that new detergent yesterday. But I am just wearing this flannel that I wanna say is from Boohoo, it's a few years old. Some ribbed leggings from Target and some Steve Madden booties. And I just pulled my hair back. I'm going to style it later. And I didn't put any makeup on because I'm gonna do a full face once I'm done with work and I didn't feel like putting makeup on and it getting like, greasy and gross throughout the day and touching it up or having to like take it off and redo it good enough just to do my two clients like i said they're gonna be a lot of work so i'd rather just be comfy and cozy especially because it's so damn cold outside got my celsius 
think we are good to go. Okay, I will see you at the salon. Like I said, the last time I did this client's hair was over the summer. And yeah, you could see she had roots, you could see the gray, but considering she used to have to cover her roots with permanent color monthly, and this was like almost six months without doing anything to it, it looked pretty damn good. So I just did a full head of baby lights, just trying to get her even blonder and brighter so that those grays could blend as well as possible. So here I had just pulled out the back foils because since I did so many, I think I did like 100 foils. It took me two hours just to foil alone. So I pulled the back out and then I was just kind of doing like a wet balayage on her ends to brighten those up. Then I did a root tap and an all over gloss and I was running behind at this point so I forgot to get after clips of her hair but this is what her hair looked like the last time I did it and it was pretty similar just maybe like a little bit blonder and then this was my second client she was also looking to get gray coverage but she's not quite ready to fully go all gray so I did a half head of little tiny baby lights and then in between those foils I used that L'Oreal Dia color which is a cream demi permanent and I just painted the hair to give it more dimension so that way the grays would blend and everything would look a lot softer. I also did a root tap and then an all over gloss and this was her final hair. So pretty. It feels so good to sit down and to be done. Kind of creepy and weird being in here by myself though. I'm gonna chat for a little bit, but then we're gonna have to do a time lapse so I can put the music back on because I do not wanna be sitting in here in the quiet. But it is currently almost 4.30. I don't know if you can see that. Some of my coworkers and I are going to get dinner around six. So I'm gonna have a lot of extra time to kill, but it's like, it's an annoying amount of time where if I went home, by the time I got there, got ready, I would just have to leave as soon as I was ready. But today was one of those days where it was just so go, go, go since I got here. So I'm like, oh, I need to stretch a little bit. And it was one of those days where I wanted to get more content of everything I was doing. But it's also like when you're in a hurry, you just don't want to take that extra time to be like, oh, hang on a sec, let me set up my phone and record and like, I don't know. It's just, it's a lot, it's chaotic. And when I have like color all on my hands, I don't really want to be grabbing my phone and stuff, you know? So it was good stuff and I wish I could have recorded a little bit more and got more content. Cause usually what I do the days that I am at the salon, I will just get a whole bunch of footage of like everything I'm doing. And then that way I have a lot of just stock footage that I can use. I can take screenshots from the video and use that as photos. I can take little shorter clips from the video and make it that into reels. I try to just get as much as I can out of each individual client so that way I can keep posting consistently because posting on Instagram has been how I've been able to start growing my clientele back up so it's a must for me and i find that the more consistent i am on there the more instagram seems to push my content out and the more people find me like i've been for the last two weeks i've been posting every single day and these past few days i have been getting people multiple people reaching out every single day asking for an appointment so it works but you just gotta stay on top of it and be consistent. And it's hard when you're trying to grow or rebuild a clientele because you don't have a lot of clients to be taking pictures of, so you feel like you don't have a lot to post. But that's why I try to get a lot 
of useful stuff out of each client. That is my little tip. If you guys want a separate video on that, I would be more than happy to share what equipment I use, how I get content, what my content ideas are. But despite it being a really busy, sort of hectic day, it went really well. I was very happy with the outcome for both clients. I wanna turn the music back on. So I'll show you the finished look when I'm done. change of plan. I'm glad I got ready at the salon because I was able to get ready at like the makeup station with the bright lights. The lighting in my apartment sucks so it was probably for the best. Here is the look and I facetimed a couple of my co-workers and I asked them if this was too much with no bra or anything underneath and they all said no it's perfect. So I have nipple covers on just in case and they're silicone so it kind of like gives the fabric something to grab onto so it stays in place. And I think I should be fine. But I ended up coming home because everybody that I was going to dinner with is running late. And I got ready faster than I thought I would, so I was like, I don't really wanna just sit at the salon and have to kill like 45 minutes. And one of my coworkers that I'm going to dinner with lives like right down the road from me, so she's actually gonna pick me up on her way. So that's kinda nice. I don't have to worry about my car and driving and all that. So now I can just go have a good time, and if I wanna drink, I can drink and I can just get an Uber if I need to. And then I don't have to worry about like getting an Uber back in the morning to go pick up my car or anything. I'm excited though, it should be fun. I will try to get as many clips as I can. like the record to show that I did my skincare and washed off all my makeup last night before bed. I feel very proud of myself. Although my hair is disgusting. Last night was a lot of fun though. But now I really need coffee. I put the water in here and the coffee filter and I was about to hit brew without even putting any coffee in it. By the way, I still love my Nespresso machine. I'm just out of pods right now. So, using my good old Mr. Coffee. After a night of drinking and eating junk food, gotta have a big thing of ice water. I feel so dehydrated. <laughs> That's so good. Coffee, prebiotic soda. This is my remedy. I feel pretty good though, I must say. Like I'm not hungover or anything. I just feel like my body needs recovery. Very dehydrated. My stomach is kind of like, ooh. I'm gonna go take my drinks and get comfy on the couch and watch some YouTube videos. Good morning. It is 
currently Tuesday. I didn't vlog anything yesterday because it was just a work from home day. I was literally on my laptop all day but today i'm going into the salon i just have one client but she is new I'm trying to remember if i booked her i don't think so i think the salon booked her for me and she's down for a highlight cut so we'll see what that ends up entailing because you just never really know it is convenient having online booking or having a receptionist that can handle clients and book appointments for you but at the same time i really prefer corresponding with clients myself directly and booking them myself because if i'm not having that direct conversation i don't always know what they actually are looking for and you know clients don't always know when they're booking themselves or when they're talking to the receptionist. The receptionists aren't hairstylists, so it can be a little tricky sometimes, and you know, sometimes you get someone on your schedule and it's like, oh, they're down for highlights, but highlight could mean you are coming in with full virgin hair and you want a full head of fresh highlights, or it can mean you already have a full head of highlights and you're just coming in for a touch-up, which are, you know, two very different things. Or sometimes you have a situation where they actually need a color correction, but they don't know that. And unless I'm asking them about their hair history and they're sending me pictures, how would you know? So anyway, long story short, I have a new client. She's down for a highlight and cut, but I don't actually know what her hair looks like or what we're gonna be doing. But it's kind of nice that I just have the one because I don't have to worry about rushing or you know, if it ends up taking more time than what's blocked out, it's fine. What's good though is the weather is warming up. It's really cloudy and gloomy out today, but it feels nice and warm and humid and I think it's supposed to be like in the 60s and it's just gonna keep getting warmer and warmer and then like by the weekend I think it's supposed to be like 75. I hope spring comes soon because it has been abnormally cold down here and I'm not okay. <laughs> but I'm gonna wear this dress. I've had it for a few years it's from H&M and then I'm gonna wear boots with it. Either these boots which are also H&M or my white cowboy boots I don't know I'm gonna try the dress on and see what I like better I decided I'm gonna go with the cowboy boots and these huggies are Ana Luisa and these dangly earrings are from Amazon I'll link everything down below so I'm gonna grab my stuff and head out of here I'll try to get as much footage as I can so I'll see you at the salon don't mind all the stuff in the car. This is gonna be my new living room rug. It's stuff that I'm like, it's kind of big and heavy, so there's no point in carrying it all the way up the stairs to my current apartment to then bring back down and bring over to the new apartment, so I've just been leaving it in here. But I'm so excited. I ordered some new business cards for myself, for my hair clients, because we have business cards at the salon, but they're just the salon's cards with the salon's info and my name on it. So I wanted to have my own cards that had my phone number on it and my Instagram. So that way, I mean, like I kind of said earlier, I just prefer being able to have direct contact with my clients. That way also they feel more connected to me. Like they're a client of mine, not just a client of the salon. Like I want their loyalty to be with me as their stylist not with the salon itself so you know if in the future I do end up going off and doing my own thing they'll know how to always reach me so I just designed them myself I don't know if you can see Sam Bay hair stylist and it kind of matches like my little channel art on YouTube I've been trying to be more consistent like with my branding with the fonts and colors and like all that and then it has my number and then scan here to see my work which I tried scanning this QR code I got it right off of my Instagram and when I was editing the cards on my computer I was able to scan it from my computer screen and it worked but I was trying to scan it from the card and it doesn't seem to be working, which is kind of a bummer, but these are really inexpensive, and at least it has my Instagram name on there, so I'll just tell people, like, 
yeah the printing got messed up so it doesn't work to scan it but that is my instagram handle so you know look me up so i'm gonna keep some of these at my station in the salon and like some in my car some in my purse that way i'll always have some to hand out and that is my homework assignment i'm setting for myself pass out my business cards as much as i can everywhere i go because we are all about growing our clientele in 2024 i'm gonna go in now and get set up for my client so this client had previously been getting her highlights done somewhere else like i said she was a new client to me and i guess they had just been doing a half head because you can see she had a lot of depth through the back and in fact underneath like that whole bottom layer of her hair was just completely untouched and she felt like it wasn't as blended and as low maintenance as she would like it to be so she wanted something a little bit softer she also said she wanted less dimension and she wanted something really warm she really likes more golden tones so the goal was to just do a full head of highlights get rid of that darkness and just make sure it was as soft and blended as possible and give her a nice gold tone. So this was her finished hair, so pretty. I just got home. I feel like I was moving in slow motion today because usually for a full highlight and haircut, especially with a new client, it'll take me at least like three hours. I'll usually block out like three and a half just to be safe. And she did have a lot of hair, but that took me, including taking photos and cleaning up, it took me four hours. So I guess like just doing the hair itself was a little over three and a half. I just felt like I was there forever. And I was exhausted by the end of it, even though it was just the one client. I don't know, it's weird. But I got another package in the mail. This whole vlog, I feel like has just been me opening packages and showing you more stuff I bought. I placed an order on Timu because I have never ordered anything from there, believe it or not. I feel like they're so popular and they have been emailing me for months asking to work together and do a sponsorship. But I was like, I don't know. I know everybody seems to love their site, but I just felt like I wanted to order something just as like a regular customer first and just kind of see like, what's the shipping time like and what's the selection and just, you know but i was pleasantly surprised they have a lot of stuff on there and one thing that i really had been wanting slash needing is a new case for my makeup like just my everyday stuff and i really liked the look of this one because it's really spacious and it has these dividers you could use it without or if you want to separate like your blush from your foundation and then it has this pouch on the top flap to stick your makeup brushes and then there's another zipper compartment here um, i love how plain it is and then this is another bag this i got to be my gym bag oh and it comes with a long strap too i love this i love how simple it is the black with the little gold hardware this is like the perfect size because I have some gym equipment like I have a jump rope I have a barbell pad a bunch of different resistance bands like just a bunch of stuff whenever I go to the gym I'll usually just grab whatever I'm gonna use and I just carry it loose with me and I don't really have anywhere to put it so it just sits like on top of my dresser or whatever and I thought this would be perfect because I can just put all my gym stuff in here and then when I'm going to the gym just bring this with me and that way I'll have all my stuff with me at all times and I never have to worry about like losing or misplacing anything and then I can literally just keep this in my closet but i mean this would also just be cute as like a weekend bag oh and it has a sleeve like for your suitcase handle and then a zipper compartment on the side here i paid less than 20 dollars for both of these things anyway i think i'm gonna just wrap up this vlog here because i think it's long enough at this point by the way i am thinking for my uploading schedule i'm going to do every monday and then occasionally i will upload a second video on thursdays so every monday guaranteed and then sometimes on thursdays once i get this whole move done and over with and i'm settled into the new place i might be able to stick to 
doing two videos every week consistently, but right now I know it's gonna be kind of chaotic, so I don't wanna promise you two videos every week if I'm not gonna be able to deliver that. So definitely Mondays. And I post a new podcast episode every Friday on my podcast channel. So if you want some more of me, you can go check out that podcast on Fridays. But other than that, Thank you so much for watching. I will see you really soon in my next video. Bye.